The products featured in this video can be purchased from Pimeroni at shop.pimeroni.com. Hi, it's Nick from Hobby Electronics and in this Raspberry Pi video, I'll be showing how to get started with the Explorer Hat for the Pi. The Explorer Hat Pro features two H-Bridge motor drivers, four analog inputs, capacitive touchpads, and a breadboard on top just to name a few of the features. To test out this hat, I'll be using the Explorer Hat Pro Parts Kit. This comes with some LEDs, a shift register, potentiometers, and jump wires just to name a few of the parts. Take a look at the product page on the Pimeroni website for a complete parts list. Other things that you'll need to test out the hat include a Raspberry Pi, SD card with a Raspbian image on it, connection to a network, and a suitable USB power supply. To begin I'm going to mount the breadboard to the top surface of the Explorer hat. This can be done by removing the protective strip on the back of the board and press it in place. We can then mount the small foam stopper onto the bottom of the hat. This will support the hat when it's mounted on top of the pie. Followed by inserting the SD card into the pie, connect it to a network and power it up. We can then log into the pie and enter the following command to download and install the prerequisites and test scripts for the Explorer hat. After entering into the Pimeroni Explorer hat directory, we can then run this command to test out the I.O. of the board. As an extension to testing out the Explorer hat pro board, you could build a small web control robot utilizing the onboard motor drivers. I'll be using a potentiometer as an input for one of the analog pins. After creating a new Python script, I'll add some code to the file that prints the value of analog pin 1 to the console. For more information on the Explorer hat pro, visit the Pimeroni website.